Our character of the week is Amanda Kruger. Amanda Kruger is the mother of one Frederick Charles Kruger. Now, at age 18, Amanda Kruger decided to become a nun, choosing the name Mary Helena as her name in Christ. In 1941, her first assignment as a nun was to take care of the inmates in Weston Hill Hospital, including the infamous tower where the most insane patients were locked up. Now, only a few days away from Christmas, Amanda was accidentally locked in the tower where the guards were in a hurry to go home to see their families for Christmas, and she was left alone mistakenly with the inmates for several days. And there she was brutally raped and beaten many times over. But when she was finally found, she was barely alive and pregnant. Now, nine months later, Amanda gave birth to one Frederick Charles Kruger, a.k.a. Freddy Kruger. Now, it is why he was given the nickname as the bastard son of a hundred maniacs. Shortly after, the infant was given over to the state and adopted by Mr. Underwood, an abusive alcoholic. So Amanda Kruger followed her son's trial after he was arrested for murders of several of the neighborhood children. But as we all know, Freddie was released on a technicality and Amanda was distraught, dying by suicide shortly after she heard the news. But Amanda's body was never found. The tower where she hanged herself was sealed and that wing of the hospital was closed. There was even a headstone placed in the cemetery of Springwood for Sister Mary Helena. But her spirit returned in many forms over the years. But that's pretty much where her story arc ends. Because Amanda Kruger's backstory exists to illustrate that Freddy is evil. Not only is he evil as a dream demon, he was bred from evil. He can do no good. And her goodness is basically there to highlight the evil that he is Freddy. I mean, his conception was seen as unholy and defiled. Thus, his very birth was a curse in and of itself. <laughs>